Hey guys, welcome back to Spray Tales. And in this video tutorial, we are going to learn this romantic, cool heart shape animation. So let's jump to tutorial. Okay, so now we are in Cinephobia. All right. So I already have this background, I mean, this cube. I show you. But before that, we just take the camera. Okay, and. Then... Now, back to camera, camera view, first we'll go here and take slender, okay, radius, check, 15, height, 7, okay, and segments, 1, Look apps and check this. Okay. Now just duplicate this line up. Hold object. Second line up. 345, that's okay. And the height. Okay. Just bring this little up to side view. So have both the cylinders, but add them down. Okay. Now let's move to It's like this helix plane. We need XC like this. Okay. Radius 200, it's okay. Uh, start angle 0, okay. End radius, radius 2, 30, okay. Then end angle, we need more. So, more take. Okay, I think this is fine. Then bias uh, is fine. Two hundred is okay. Hundred. Okay. I think it's okay. Cool. So now let's move to our deformer. Take ball. Okay. Okay. Then uh, this thing. One eighty. Now go to object. Limited is fine. Just need to increase the strength, okay? So make it 100%. So you will get this. Uh, I just quickly hide this all those things so we can focus on taper. So we just uncheck all this. That's perfect. Okay. Select taper and okay, yeah. This 175. Okay, now select this taper and put this inside the helix like this. See, go to object and don't forget to check this fillet option. So you will get this nice. I'll show you what is that. Okay, so this is without fillet. And once you click, I mean, check on this, see, you will get nice curvy end. Okay, now just hide this taper. Okay, see, you will get this one without taper, it's like this with taper. Okay, now let's move to our heart shape. For that, go to your and select spline pin and go to side view. Okay, just hide this camera also is disturbing. So hold Alt and double click on this dots. Okay. Hide. Okay, now come back here. Now we simply draw half heart shape. Okay, 
so you will read this kind of okay now uh, just this one and uh, just duplicate this half heart shape like this and uh, go to chords rotation sorry yeah minus 180 so you will get this kind of shape all right guys be okay with if you are okay with the shape then select this to spline right click and there is an option connect object and delete so it will become one object like this okay now we need some mesh so go to here and select this whip okay we need one circle so go here and select this circle and the uh, circle radius will take 1.5 no more that much so much okay. okay so select this one plane and circle and put inside this sweep see <clears throat> now you can write down see okay same with this helix so go to again or what you can do is just select this and duplicate and okay now go inside this second sweep and select this and delete it and instead of that select our helix and put that inside the second sweep like this so you know don't need to again go to here and add sweep and again circle so it's a long it's a short all right now our main part is done just select all this okay now we uh, yeah well, we need the spheres right so go to here and select sphere and uh, sphere radius will take 8 cm that's okay go to side view so good and just align it like this yeah and one more here all right okay now okay this and this now go to here and select null okay this fear and here put that inside null this is one object so just pick one again take another null object put this all thing inside that null just like this like this as like sweep put that inside here okay, one to two okay now we have two objects we are going to animate this so go to frame zero select both of them go to chords and uh, okay this rotation hit key frame and go to 150th frame i just take 150 frame will, okay 150 frame and go to 150th last frame and yeah so this is tricky part so this thing spiral make it 720 okay this is really we need this is a little a little faster than the heart shape that's why so we just add keyframe and select the second one and here just add 180 degree and add a keyframe okay now go to uh, just right click here go to animation inside the animation see there's a show f curves 
select it select both points and hit here click linear same thing with this thing i click animation s curves and select both points and select this linear okay now just play once you can see you will get this kind of animation now it's in a loop but at the frame one uh, at 150 frame see it's there is little hold see so for that which is render only 149 frame so if you play now you will get this kind of smooth animation see all right now we add one half circle go to object and select hemisphere okay just increase the radius position it let's go spend okay Now we just quickly assign some materials. Okay, before that, just add a sky. This sky material. Now we go for background. Glass for this sphere. Okay, just go to frame zero and hide this glass. Where is that glass? There you are. Just hide this glass. And now just keep. Okay, it's easy to give materials. So drag and drop. Again, see like this. It's quite easy. And uh, this gold material for the heart. The silver is assigned to those spheres. Now we finished. Okay, now just. Now go to settings and uh, of course entirelyizing best as usual. Then go to effects and add ambient occlusion, land, global illumination. Okay. So go to lights. Click here light. Take to ninety degree. So let this light go to details, and we need bit fall off. So select fall off. Okay. Just increase this fall off, and take one more light. Go to general. And uh, turn this on. Check. Just reduce the intensity, and that's fine. Now we can. I hope you like this tutorial. Subscribe our channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon. Thank you.